I watched as her cutie mark disappeared around the doorway and she was gone. Well, I could stare at her ass. Hello, everyone. Uh, Creeper here. Oops. I gotta get used to this, sorry. Powder Milk here. And welcome back to, to another fanfiction reading. Today we'll be doing Far Equestria. This was suggested to me by you guys, so here we are. Um, I want to let some things down right now. This stuff might make me feel a bit salty, because although I'm already salty now, um, I'll explain that right now. Reason why I'm salty is for one particular reason. I was at work today, and um. Things just kind of went downhill. I'm not going to explain why, because it's just too fucking irritating. It's already giving me a headache just thinking about it. And but I also want to. It's also about Fallout. the the sh The game Fallout really pisses me off. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a bit um, a little cold-hearted to this. So. Let's go, shall we? Here we go. Uh, okay, where's my update? Uh, okay, here's. Why is. Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, this is actually in a, a PDF file. So, okay, here's the introduction. Okay. Introduction Once upon a time, in a magical land of Equestria. There came an era when the ideals of friendship gave away to greed, selfish, selfishness, paranoia, jealous, reaping, and dwindling space and natural resources. Lands took up arms against the neighbors. The end of the world occurred much as we had predicted. The world was plunged into the abyss and bale of fire and dark magic. The details that... <clears throat> The details are trivial and pointless. Reasons, as always, purely our own. The world was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing, magical sparks struck by pony hooves quietly raged out of control. Mega spells dwelt the boiling oceans. Pony kind was almost extinguished. Their spirits become part of the ambient radiation and the blanket of the land. A quiet darkness fell upon the world. But it was not. As some of them had predicted, the end of the world, instead, the apocalypse was simply a, the prologue of another bloody chapter in the pony history. In the early days, thousands were spared the only horrors of the Holocaust by, by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as stables. But when they emerged, they had o only the hell of the waste to greet them. All went those in the stable too. For all that faithful day when spell fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of stable two swung closed and never reopened. Well then, I'm kind of intrigued. I'll be, I'll be honest right there, I'm kind of intrigued. Fallout Equestria. Prologue. A pit, pit bucks and cutie marks. If I'm going to tell you about the adventure of my life, explain how I got this place, into, to this place and these people, and why I did what I, I'm going to do next, I should probably start by explaining a little bit about pit bucks. What is a pit buck? A pit buck is a device whom you, whom a four leg just of the hoof issue to every pony in a stable. When they become old enough to start work, a blending of a, a blending of a unicorn pony magic and science, your pit buck can be will keep you ah, a constant measure of your health and even help administer your healing. <sighs> You'll see. Uh, I can't read that word. Sorry, guys. Um, and our medicines. 
track or organize everything in our saddlebags, assist in repairs, and keep our matter of notes and maps available on a hoof tap. Plus, it'll always, it'll always you. Plus, it always you to listen into the stable broadcast whenever you would really like it, as it can tune into a decrypt di just a, about uh, any uh, decrypt any radio frequency. And that's not all. The pony pit bucks generates EFS. Eyes forward sparkle. What the fuck? The will in that will indicate it and help gauge whether the pony or creature around you are hostile. And perhaps most impressively, the pit buck can magically aid you in in a fight for brief periods of time. Those through the uses of SATS stable tech arc arc targeting spell. Well then. Um, this is actually quite accurate from when I was playing Fallout 3. Um, oh, and the feature not uh, to be forgotten, it can keep track of the location of a tagged object or people, including the wearers of, a pit, of other pit bucks. So if a pony somehow got lost, don't, a don't ask how you got... Uh, how you get lost in a stable, but it does happen on occasion. When so, um, when any pony who knew who the, the lost ponies tag would find them instantly, it can be uh, made to glow like a lamp. So yes, pit bucks really are a te testament to a unicorn pony arc on science. And yes, having a pit bug is a big advantage. So, and how wonderful and miraculous all this sounds, it's hard to impress upon ponies who ever lived in this stable just how ordinary, how pedestrian a pit buck was in the eyes of ponies living in a stable. Oh, in stable too. And why I, I, I was disappointed to have one as my, as my cutie mark. Every pony in the stable had a pit buck. And what stuff I met, and all that stuff I mentioned, most ponies don't use even half of it. That they just use it to tune into the stable broadcast, listen to the sweet, sweet voice of Velvet Remedy, and the evenings of the latest school spring competitions during the day. The stable had two soccer leagues, one which allowed SATS, -S, and one which prohibited it. Otherwise, most ponies paid their pit. The pit bucks almost no attention at all. The uh, the overmares the overmare <clears throat> issues each pony their own pit buck on the day their cutie mark arc, arc party, usually a day a two a day or two after you get your mark or your flanks that tells every pony that you that makes you special. What you're destined to be good at. Once it shows, the overmare knows what work to assign you. You know your place in the stable, so no, I, I was not thrilled that made me special. What was that every pony had, which was not like being told I wasn't special at all. Sure, getting a pit buck as my cue mark could have meant I was destined to become an awesome pit buck repair filly or something. But reality, it was like getting a cutie mark of a cutie mark. Wow, it's kind of deep. Think about that. I, I, I have to recap on this. She, um, the character that I'm talking about, I, I don't think I remember the name. Um, the character which has no name yet. Um, how she's feeling about getting a pit buck on her, um, or a pit boy in this case, um, on her cutie mark is a bit. She's feeling that it's, it's that it's just really ordinary, and that's the thing. Hold up, guys, my throat's sore. That was a lot of reading, just seven minutes. Ooh. <clears throat> anyway, <sighs> anyway, didn't help that I was the last pony to get their cutie mark. Not surprisingly, to retrospect. Kindly, though, to find that what you're supposed to be good at is when you're supposed to be 
or your when you're supposed to be good at is something you don't get until you've found what you're supposed to be good at. So I tried everything. I even tried to invent new things. As a unicorn, or in my pony self, my initiate magic allows me to level the fine manipulation that earth ponies don't enjoy. Any pony can hold the key in, e in their teeth and open a lock, but using multiple tools is a very de delicate operation. That requires precision, levitation. So, I decided to learn to pick locks and bobby with bobby pins and screwdrivers. Wow, very accurate. And I was even getting pretty good at it. Unfortunately, I didn't get me my cutie mark. <coughs> Excuse me. It just got me into trouble. I even, to my humiliation, went into the CIT cutie mark aptitude test. Hey, that's kind of similar to the goat. Uh, in the hopes I would got, I mean, to what made me special. But no, the, my cat was utterly average, and my marginally higher score in a couple areas uh, indicated I might be suited for work as a pit buck technician or a stable loyalty inspector. Two options. I should note that even less impressive than you considered, it was generally expected that the unicorn ponies would either go technical or administrative work. That is, except at the Unicorn Ponies, who are natural artists, like Velvet Remedy, as I said before, Inherited Magic allows her to sort fine manipulation that technical works demand. Likewise, the Overmare and her governments were always Unicorn Ponies, and the Overmare's Unicorn Magic. After all, that creates a false sunlight used to grow the underground um, apple orchards, and while our apples might not look like the beautiful red things of the old books, they are what keep us alive. It was only because they let me try hooves, at, try my hooves at both positions that I gained access to a pit buck before receiving my own. My own. Otherwise, I will never have gotten my cutie mark. Oh, my name is Little Pip. Go figure. <laughs> I was giving my name because I was the youngest and the smallest. And even my mother had the good sense not to call me Pipsqueak. Not to not that I don't love her, but when a Philly's keto mark is a gla is a glass ass and a hand apple cider anyway. Funny how names like that turn out sometimes. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading sometimes. <laughs> I'm having trouble reading this. Um, pleased to meet you. Here is my story. Whoa. That's just a fucking prologue. That's actually a pretty good prologue, too. Um, chapter 1. Out of the stable. Because of stable and stable 2, no pony ever enters and no pony only ever leaves. Gray. The walls of the main stalls were all very monotonous, dull, gray, in, in particular wall. I was staring at a merit of being the very clean gray. Pip bucks were monotonously hard, hardy, and reliable to being the stable's pit buck technician meant that there were long periods of nothing to do. Being the pit buck technician <clears throat> apprentice meant that I was assigned to all the mundane daily chores with the trainer took extension and it naps in the back room. Chores like cleaning the walls. The, this wall needs a mural. I let myself fantasize, pictured the overmare agreeing and ordering a palate, palate herself and turned to ah, ah! Excuse me. Haylate herself to turn over uh, our entire stall into one of her brightly colored masterpieces. Palate was the greatest painter in Stable 2, and it was very skilled art artisan. The, that made her the stable treasure. Life in the stable, too, ev too ev uh, eventably, began to eat at our spirit. You were born in the stable. 
people. You live your whole life in the stable. You're going to die there. And the course of our life was largely laid out for you to see by your cutie mark party. So the Overmare insisted that at a new song be aided to the stable broadcast. Uh, each week, the public areas are brightly painted and adored and uplifting mo uh, motivational murals. The regular parties were planned and in atrium and, <clears throat> and all in an effort to distract the st stave off depression. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering. I'm just having trouble reading because I'm a little... Uh, my head. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just having this little t tick in my head right now. It's really bothering me. It's what's causing me to be off. Oh, dear. Wait. Um, reality came crashing back and I was stared at the internally, internally blank gray. Beautifying maintenance areas as tragically low priority already, and the pit buck technician stall was one of the la least tra a a ethics parts of the maintenance, I felt my ears droop as I started to realize that I'd be staring at this gray wall nearly every day for the rest of my life. Oh dear, this is really bad. And there she was, Velvet Remedy, a gorgeous charcoal coated unicorn, and with streaks of color in her white mane and with voices as smooth as silk bulk and rich as the finest chocolate was standing in the doorway of my stall. I felt immediately grateful that I'd finished cleaning this meaning and simultaneously ashamed that the room was so beneath her. Wow. So there's a love interest. Hmm? I'm actually starting to like this because this is actually pretty good. Whoever wrote this, you're really good. I couldn't believe she was standing there. I'd seen her on the stage above us in the last parties. I listened to her songs incidentally. Incidentally. I think that's insatiable. I can't read it. Why can't I read? <laughs> Recording every new one of my pit books so that I didn't have to wait to hear it again. I'll, I'll admit it now. I had a crush on Velvet Remedy for years. Me and at least 300 other ponies. My mother used to laugh at that. Pip Buck. Little Pip, she would say, courting with her friends. Velvet Remedy barred the door. Doesn't swing that, that way. It took me a couple of years to understand my mother and meant by that. It took me several seconds to perceive that Velvet Remedy was just, just asked me, had, had asked me something. Whoa, huh? Wonderful response. So, is my character male or female? So she doesn't swing that way. So I'm trying to figure out whether a little pep is a male or a female. Um, if Little Pip is a female, that means she's lesbian, isn't she? But if she's met his, but if it's a if Little Pip is a male, that means that Velvet Remedy is a lesbian. A uh, wonderful response, Little Pip. So elegant. I wanted to dig my way through the concrete floor and pull the. Wait a minute. He said it was it was a filly. Filly. That means it's a girl. I remember now. Uh, concrete floor. I pulled chunks over the top of me. She smiled. She smiled at me, and it was amazing. The voice. You looked so heartbroken when I came in. Is there anything I can do? Velvet Remedy offered to help me. I was shocked. At I was shocked back in my senses. Velvet Remedy must have some reason to be down here. Some pit buck reason. It wasn't like she would just go wandering around maintenance after all. Looking around, I realized that I was the only pony on duty. My teacher was, as usual, as usual asleep in his office. Oh no, it was n nothing. I tried to regain composure. How may I be of assistance? 
Velma Remedy expression was both compassionate and unconvinced, but she lifted a forehoof, raising her pick buck up, up my gaze. A uh, more elegant model than mine, and with her initials and cutie mark. A beautiful bird with wings, outstretched to be eek, opened in song. Embellished tastefully. <sighs> I hate to be e, the bother, but it's begun to chafe. Would you replace the padding? Okay, chafe, huh? Well, my throat is sore, guys. Ugh. Mm. Sorry. I my throat is sore. I've been talking a lot all day. I was discussing with a buddy in, in, the, in the kitchen about my YouTube channel. And, uh, anyway. That was already... Uh, okay. Oh, absolutely! I was already... Le <sighs> I was already levitating the special keys used to unlock a pit, pit buck from a pony's foreleg. As the apprentice pit buck technician, I had a all matter of special precision tools in my pockets and the utility bargaining. I, I have it done and it right quick. The pit buck came off with a click. Velvet Remedy chuckled hesitantly, lowered a hoop. Oh no, that's all right. Take your time. I'm going to put some sh all salve on this leg. Back in my room and rest in the afternoon. That's right. My velvet remedy was performing on state, able to a saloon noon tomorrow night. I should have to polish it up, make it it already make it worthy of being worn and above her hoof. If I spent all, all night on it, I will give it a full tune up. Have it running as smoothly as the day she got it, and still. Have it back to her before she, the show. All right, I'll have it back to you by the time tomorrow. You won't be disappointed. I promise. She smiled at me, and all the gray in the world wouldn't have darkened that my day. Thank you. And then she turned, turned to go. I watched as her cutie mark disappeared around the doorway, and she was gone. Well, I could stare at her ass. Quit staring. At her ass. <laughs> Come on, I may be an ass man, but what the fuck? Oh, oh god, my throat. Okay, the next day, I was whistling in one of, um... Actually, no. I'm actually running out of time for today. So guys, um... I hope you liked this video, and I hope to catch you guys in the next. So... I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Hey guys, Creeper here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you please hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to see more of my cringy humor, just remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, you can follow, if you want to see more of the Banana Man here, just remember to follow up on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Also, you can if you guys want to recommend me some videos, you can tell me there or in the comments, or you can also tell me on my Snapchat, which I will leave right, my ghost code right here. You can chat, send me some snaps, and I hope I can do your ideas. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Creeper's got a creep. Bye bye.